Hello there, I'm Alfred Collins, community manager here at The Bob Africa. If you're watching this, you're most likely thinking of starting a career in software engineering. While this might be at the top of your New Year's resolution list, software engineering is a wide field. More so, due to its rapidly evolving nature with new stacks and languages each year, it can become overwhelming to choose the right career. But that's alright, you're not alone, and many people struggle with this at the beginning. Now, while I cannot walk you through every career path in software engineering, this video will cover five in-demand areas you should consider as you dabble into tech. First is web development. Web development is one of the most common areas in software engineering. Web developers build websites, and many developers either fall into this category or have some knowledge of it. Web devs work in a wide array of industries. They may work as an in-house developer for a large marketing agency or an IT company focused on software development. Within web development, there are three branches, front-end development, back-end development, and full-stack development. Front-end development, also known as the client side, involves everything users see on the web or in mobile applications. The skills required to thrive in this space include JavaScript, CSS, HTML, user interface, and user experience, UI UX. Also, a knowledge of frameworks like Angular and React.js is also very key. To get into this path, you don't need a university degree. Many front-end developers are self-taught or attend programs like Fellowship at the Bulb. Simply pair any aforementioned frameworks with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, back-end development, also known as the server side, includes the frameworks, databases, client, and server communications that make a website work. If you're considering a career in backend development, you will need to learn Node.js, Python, JavaScript, Java, and Ruby on Rails. Also, a knowledge of database management systems like Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB is very vital. Lastly, full stack development is a combination of both front and backend development. Devs in this area understand both branches, but are not necessarily experts in them. Full stack developers are in high demand and the role is perfect for people with entrepreneurial mindsets. However, it can be overwhelming for beginners because there's so much to cover. Now, if you'd like to transition to full stack, I recommend specializing in either the front or back-end developments first. Many full stack developers also transition after working in different positions and amassing a wide range of experience. The second area you can consider is cloud development. There's an incredible focus on cloud computing right now as the demand for cloud services continue to rise. So does the need for cloud developers. For this part, a crucial skill you need to have is cloud security. And I recommend earning a certified cloud security professional certification. This will boost your chance of landing a high paying job. Additionally, the infrastructure of the service industry is dominated by Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. While all three have certification programs, I recommend starting with Amazon and has the largest market share and a higher demand. Other skills required include programming languages like Python, Java, and c -Hash. Also, databases like MongoDB and SQDB, Linus, REST, and Grails are very important. The third career path on our list is mobile development. The journey to becoming a mobile developer is relatively straightforward. If you enjoy interacting with mobile apps and are thinking of building one, this might be the right career. This is another area that is great for entrepreneurs as you can build an app, upload it to the app store, and possibly make a great income. While there are many platforms for mobile development, the most popular platforms are iOS, Android, and Windows Mobile, with Android having the greatest market share and consequently higher demand. To excel as an Android developer, start by learning Java or Kotlin. For iOS development, learn Object-C or Swift. Finally, for Windows Mobile, kick off with C-Hash. Now, up next is DevOps, which stands for Development and Operations. It is simply a set of practices that focuses on automating the process between software development and IT teams. DevOps enables these teams to build, test, and release software more efficiently. To excel in DevOps, you need an excellent master of programming and scripting. You should learn Jenkins, Git, Linux, Puppet, Gradle, and Docker. In addition, as an expiring DevOps engineer, you need to understand cloud infrastructure components and be able to set defense mechanisms against common cyber attacks. Now, the last field on our list is desktop development. Before the internet and web applications came up top, desktop developments dominated the software development industry for decades. 
It is undoubtedly not what it used to be two decades ago. There's still a significant demand though, particularly in the integrated development environment, also known as IDE. Many desktop developers work with established enterprises and often use GUI toolkits such as JavaFX, Swing, Q2, WPF and Electron. Electron allows you to develop desktop apps using web technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and has been used to create Slack, GitHub desktop and more. That said, when choosing the ideal path, I need you to keep four things in mind. Mm. First, know what it takes to get there. With this, I mean read up on the learning process for some career paths that you find interesting. Second, you want to know the median salary for some of these roles, right? You can easily find this with a quick Google search or sites like Glassdoor. Third, consider the kind of work environment you would prefer. Ask yourself if you want to be a contract worker for different organizations or full-time with one. Finally, you need to be aware of your strengths. Ideally, someone with a good eye for appealing designs will thrive better as a front-end developer than a back-end. Know what makes you tick. And if you're unsure, you may try your hands on a couple of different things. Eventually, you should choose just one path to master well. This will reduce the time spent learning and land you a job faster. That brings me to the end of this video. I do hope you've learned a thing or two about software engineering careers. As I mentioned earlier, this don't necessarily require a university degree and you can learn skills like DevOps, JavaScript, .NET and the quality assurance testing when you apply for the next quarter of our fellowship program. Applications are now open for a limited time. Visit the description box below to register and become a tech expert in just six months. Remember to turn on our post notification button to be the first one to hear from us. Until next time, do have a fantastic holiday. Merry Christmas.